once you get through them and, and you know, it's, it's just food. It's, 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 it's just food. That's the reality. Right. And the power yeah. you give it over, that's what makes the results come about. But, um, you know, I, I remember you had me go to uh, McDonald's and eat a pizza, and Amer- all-American all pizza and burger and shakes and all these foods that I had been avoiding for such a long time. And, you know, I, once you get into a place of, as you said before, like just not, not placing any judgment on the food, it just becomes powerless. Yeah, well, I, I I was trying to in the assignments have you observe some things. You know, first of all, if you go into McDonald's, the the sort of deep, dark, horrible, unhealthy icon in the world, you see a lot of people there who are actually perfectly healthy and quite exactly. vibrant and happy. Mm-hmm. Much more so than I know that you were at that time. Exactly, and, and that's, that's is unhealthy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, go ahead. Is, I was just going to say, as, as unhealthy as that may be on so many levels, that food, there's so much more to it, and it's still better to <laughs> eat enough food and be relaxed and have a good life and not worry about it. It's still healthier than eating mm-hmm. the perfect diet and being unable to live with that in that kind of light-hearted, exactly. carefree kind of way and, and not getting enough raw energy. I mean, obviously, we need a certain amount of energy to function properly and nothing is more harmful to the human body than just not getting enough fuel. So all that stuff aside, it was pretty cool to see you do that. And I've sent a lot of people through that since then as well doing things, (laughs) but you were, you were actually living in New York city at the time. Yeah, I was, I was uh, living, uh, I, I actually lived there for five years. Yeah. And in five years you've been there I don't think you'd like ever had like a slice of New York pizza or anything Mm-mm, like that. Not at all. Oh no, that not at all. Yeah. Yeah, and that was like I you've got to go here. You know, I was like actually looking up pizza places and <laughs> uh, you know, you got to go here and you know, you've lived in New York for 5 years and you've been, you know, basically eating only at your own kitchen table of, you know, greens and lean fish and Things like that. Nothing, n- nothing wrong with those things, but you know, to be able to live in New York City for five years without having a slice of pizza um, is, or going to, to Shake Shack and getting a burger or some of the iconic places in New York, is uh, really shows the, I think, the depth of the disorder relationship with food because it it doesn't have to be. It doesn't seem to be